Hello, I'm Gila. I'm the online Pilates instructor and I'm just going to take you through a very short 10 minute stretch session. So for anyone who has been working longer hours or more hours, is on their feet all the time, or if you're sat at a desk or you're driving, or even if you're finding you're not getting out and moving about as much as perhaps you would like to do. Doing a few stretches, just a, you know, a short few stretches will really help alleviate those aches and pains and make you feel a whole lot better in yourself. So let's get started. Standing up for me to begin with, and we're just going to start with our head. So we're going to take our head side, ear to shoulder, and then over to the other side, ear to shoulder. Lift the head up, turn, and back to me, and the other side and back to me and then chin to chest and lift the head up and then chin to chest add in the shoulders and just start to roll down just to the base of the shoulder blades and roll back up well done and then again chin to chest roll down now if your back is feeling a bit delicate or a bit fragile just keep the knees soft take the hands onto your thighs if it feels okay then work through the back as you roll down just relaxing over the legs as far as it's comfortable, they don't have to be straight and then curling back up. But we're just giving the legs a bit of a stretch, giving the back a stretch, breathing in, chin to chest, rolling down. Now at the bottom this time, we've got three options. We're going to take our hands onto our thighs, option one, draw the shoulders down and away from the ears into a tabletop position. Just hold it there, you may feel a bit of an increased stretch through the back of the legs. Or you can take your hands onto your shins, or you can take your fingertips, or your palms of your hands onto the floor, depending on your flexibility. But just take it so you can feel a stretch. And then let the head hang, soften the knees, and slowly roll back up. Head coming up last, bringing the shoulders back and down. Well done, let's do that again, breathe in. Breathe out, chin to chest, roll down. Just as far as is comfortable, then hands on your thighs for option one, lengthen the back into that tabletop position. Level two, hands on the shins or fingertips or palms of the hands on the floor. Keep the back nice and long, and then relax the head, chin to chest, curling back up bringing the shoulders down. Well done. Okay, so we're just going to do a bit of a stretch out through our legs now. So I want you to come into a uh, box position for me to begin with. And then from here, we're going to bring your left leg forwards. Okay, we're going to tuck the tailbone under. So we're going to just stretch out through the front of our hip flexors here. Can you feel that stretching? All right, holding here, tucking under. Then we're going to take it back, transfer the weight, pick up the front toes and lengthen forwards over our um, front legs. We can feel the stretch through the hamstrings. Now if it bothers anyone kneeling, you can come round and bring both legs in front and stretch out here. You can sit back onto that knee if you want to and stretch it a bit further. So there's different options for you there. Then we're going to come round into a child's pose. So take the tailbone down to the heels. Keep the elbows away from the floor. Lengthening through the back. And then walk the hands a little bit further forwards. Let the bottom lift and now just let the um, shoulders open to the floor and feel that really sort of taking a bit of extension through the upper back which if you've been um, leaning forwards or bending forwards should be a nice release for the back just rebalancing our posture okay and then we're going to come down onto our front and take it into a gentle back extension so you just take it as far as is comfortable for you. You can just stay on your forearms or you can press, take it a little bit further. 
Again, just extending through the back. Try and look up towards the ceiling. It's good again to reverse all that forward um, motion, those forward postures we have during the day. And fold down. Come back up onto your box and we're going to take it into a cat stretch. So tucking the chin to the chest, tucking the tailbone under. And release. Okay, so we're going to repeat that on the other side now. So this time, bring your right leg forwards. You're going to scoop the tailbone under. So we want to feel the stretch to the front of that left hip now. So again, keep pushing the hips forwards. And then we're going to take it into our hamstring stretch. So you can just draw the toes back towards you, lengthen forwards. So your options here, again, um, just to remind you, you can stay here. You can bring both legs round into a hamstring stretch um, that way, if that's preferable for you. Or you can sit back and take um, the stretch a little bit further, leaning further forwards. Well done. And then bring that round leg round and take it into your child's pose again. So keep the elbows lifted, take the tailbone down to the floor, holding it here. And then walking the fingertips a little bit further forwards and just lifting, letting the bottom come up and just opening the shoulders, the armpits down to the floor. Coming down onto your front and into a back extension again. Just taking it to where you're comfortable, looking up towards the ceiling if you can. Coming back down, push up into that box position and back into that cat stretch again. Well done. Now in this position, we're going to tip, tip the tailbone in the opposite direction, walk the eyes along the floor, lift the head up, just hold over back and then tuck under, chin to chest, round the back. And do that a few times and this is really good just to stretch through the length of the spine, release any tension or stiffness that may have built up during the day, either when you've been working or perhaps if you've been in one position for a long time, sitting or standing, whatever that may be. Well done. Okay, staying in your box, reach one hand through the gap between your hands, your other hand and your knee, reach it through, relax the head and shoulders down. You can just stay here if you want to, take the arm up towards the ceiling. So we're just taking some rotation through the spine. Well done. Bring that hand down, push, and then we're going to take it the other side. I'll just turn so you can see me. So we reach that hand through the gap, take the um, head and shoulders down, stay here, or take that free hand up towards the ceiling. Well done. Push on that hand, come back to your box position. Okay, let's just stretch out through um, the glutes now. So, we're going to, from your box position, take your hands a little bit further in front of you and bring your right leg through. And your knee is pointing out to the side and your back leg, your left leg, is reaching away. We're going to take the hands in front of us and relax forwards over the legs. Your heel... That front leg should still be in front of you. So if I turn, so, turn um, sideways slightly, you can see that my leg's still there in front of me, relaxing forwards. If this um, bothers your knees, then you can lay on your back, and I will show you that one. So same stretch, you can lay on your back with one ankle across the knee and just um, reach through and draw that thigh in towards your chest. So it's the same stretch, but obviously not so much pressure on your knees, okay? It's a really good one for getting deep into uh, the glutes. So holding it there, trying to relax and breathe into that stretch. And come out. If you want to hold any of these stretches longer, just pause the video, and then you can hold a bit longer and carry on when you're ready. So we'll do the same on the other leg. So bring the um, leg through in front of you. Your right leg's reaching away and behind you and relaxing forwards over that leg. Same thing, you can lay on your back if you want to, cross the other ankle over the knee, okay, and, and draw the, the thigh in. So just relaxing here. When you're stretching, just try and breathe and relax into the stretch. You have to hold the stretch long enough for 
it to be effective. So breathing, just enjoying that stretch. Well done. Good job. Okay. Coming up to sitting then, and you're going to bring yourselves um, with the legs wider than hip width apart and they're bent. And you can hold on to the front of the ankles or a deeper stretch, you can take the arms through, under, and then on top of the ankles. And you're going to tuck the tailbone under, drop the chin to the chest, and I'll just turn sideways so you can see from the side. And we're rounding that back, drawing the shoulder blades apart. And release. Well done. Bring your legs round behind you into a box position. If you want to, we're going to tuck the toes under, lift the hips up nice and high into inverted V-shape. Draw the weight back down through the heels. Let the head hang between the arms. So we're stretching all the way along um, the back of our legs, the length of our spine, trying to open the chest to the floor. Just nice deep breaths. Get some fresh oxygen up to the brain. Then take your gaze to your hands, step forwards one foot at a time, hands onto your thighs, slowly curl up. Bringing the shoulders back and down, standing up tall. Let's take a few breaths. Well done. So there are only a few stretches there, but they are stretches that should help um, keep you going, release your body if you've been in one position, like I say, or um, you haven't been moving very much and helps to just rebalance our, our posture. You could do them that took 10 minutes or so of your time. You could do that every time you get back from work or when you finish work or at different points during the day when you feel yourself getting a bit stiff and a bit achy. Just take 10 minutes out and do a few of those stretches or do all of those stretches. I've tried to make sure I include nearly every, well it's not every muscle in the body, but almost every muscle, all those key muscles in the body for you. And I hope you feel better for it. And I will, uh, if you want to see any more videos, if you're interested in doing any more, then please have a look at my YouTube channel and I will post the link uh, below this and you can, uh, they're all free on the platform on the channel so you've got all of those. So if you enjoy doing that stretch out and you think it will be useful, try and do it uh, during the day. So if you enjoy doing that workout, so if you feel better for doing those stretches, it's a really good thing to try and do stretches every day. If you've been um, in one position for a long time and you want to just get moving or you feel a bit achy, good idea to do some stretches. So do that 10 minute little routine, have a good stretch out. If you're interested in of any more stretching or any more workouts of Pilates, then I will put my link to my YouTube channel below and you're more than welcome to go over and have a look at those as well. Um, feel free to subscribe and then you'll get notifications as I upload some more. Hopefully they'll be useful to you. And hopefully you've enjoyed doing those stretches with me. And I hope to see you again soon.